bring up the view here so everyone yeah. can see what we're working with here because this Battlefield 4 Spectator mode wow. is insane. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and kick it up with the EU's pilot, their pilot, Addison. Let's see what he is going to do right now. It's worth mentioning as well, the Americans, they are better in the air. It's, it's just that simple. We've seen while these guys have been practicing, they've been so dominant in these jets. And also the helicopters, you can see early on already, the Europeans are struggling in the air with, the, with this dogfight going on. Yeah, that's right. And there you can see a great perspective and angle. And of course, you know, we have to always highlight the fact that these teams, you know, they've been playing each other a lot. And yep. granted, I know that there have been, you know, there's no love lost between these two squads, but I expect nothing but brilliance from both squads, both sides. Oh! Unfortunately, Addison <laughs> gets taken out. And then the good friends of my da that, good friend, Danny Matros, might be turned up. That's, that's exactly <laughs> what we were talking about. Just the way that the Americans can fly their jets. It is, it's quite concerning how talented they are, I'm not gonna lie. And uh, right now you can see Mythic Xanthor trying to get a lock on. Trying to get on. a lock, yeah. He needs to get this lock here because they know that they have to take out their air. And I believe that is going to be Epsilon's Hulk. So they need to be careful about that one player. If we see, as a matter of fact, AK-5C defending himself and, of course, wanting to get higher. Now, here's the other thing, guys. This this building here, if you actually flip on over to the side, you'll see that this structure right here, this tower, that will get destroyed with Levolution yep. if they are not careful. And that's what's so, so good about Battlefield 4. You know, th those Levolution moments that you see there, the Mass destruction that it, it's just so so amazing to look at and right now. Is he gonna be able to get that lock on the jet? Doesn't look like it, but it's worth mentioning as well. What's going on in the rest of the map? Currently A, B, and C controlled by Team Europe, but A, it looks like Team America, they're trying to see if they can charge it. As you can see in the bottom left of your screen, the rocket goes off. And I think the flares were deployed. I think the American pilot had just got away. That's gonna be hot. You see him very, very low flying, but he is gonna escape that one. Yeah, that's right, and Hulk there, he's gonna do his absolute best to try and get away from that. And we do have uh, some helicopter oh. action going on right now as well. And it seems like, uh, and again, this is widgety. This, it, it's insane to see Look at how the these pilot. teams just control the air. It is ridiculous. Look how low Look the at that. Look I can't, that, that I can't is even. Absolutely amazing. Is he gonna go? How is he done He's that? a boss, and that he's, is, he's, he's, he's a boss. A boss. Yeah, straight, I, I, I really up. do think it, it is as simple as that. But we'll go back to the overhead view right now, and you can I'm see actually find just, this helicopter the, just the shit. It? action going on on this map right now but it is still team europe with a very fragile lead and it's worth mentioning if you are new to battlefield 4 and you're wondering what all these numbers mean right now you can see that fantastic graphic on your screen team europe 752 tickets and dropping team america 724 tickets now the team that hits zero first is going to be the team that loses yeah that's right and here you can actually see oh what, what? oh fickle destroyed oh that's unfortunate my God. of that's, course uh, that's a little bit unfortunate so uh, again guys just to reiterate the point here the way it works is whoever's the first to zero loses yes. and we have a 20 minute timer here so it's 20 minutes of action if the game doesn't end in 20 minutes which is pretty crazy if it doesn't yeah but if the game doesn't end in 20 minutes uh -oh. well there you go uh -oh. Whoa! wow that was just great use there by dark times amazing work that was uh, of course I, if i'm correct he's using the tv guided missile yep. you know so uh of course technology you yeah, know, gotta always gotta <laughs> give love to technology. All right, so let's actually go ahead and cycle through here and see what squads are doing particularly well. Oh wow, the Juliet squad Juliet for the squad. American team. We have to highlight Wally. He, of course, a great player for them. They're losing players though, unfortunately, as you can see. They're Wishy Bear, another player that we got to talk about. Seems like he's uh, getting down low and just trying to supply some cover for his teammates. Yeah, he's playing up very smart. All he wants to do there was try and stay alive so his squad could actually spawn on him. And get the flag as too. The exactly that. And that's just some great, great play. But having a look over at my screen right now, you can see all the action unfolding. The parachute's coming down. Just absolute manic mayhem going over at this flag right now. You can see the Europeans definitely trying to hold on to it, but it looks like they are going to get taken down. Can America try and cut the flag? That is going to be the question. Yeah, you can clearly see that one night stand. The leader for the US team, he gets taken out, but there is going to be a flag on the other side. The European team was not aware of that one. That was going to be Ice Viper and Dark Times making their way through, and now they're going to begin the cap here. This is great for the American squad. I love what I'm seeing. Obviously, you have to point out the fact that this is still a very close game and can go either way, Benson. That was a fantastic flag cap by Team America, but I believe we have Andy on the floor. Honestly, this is so close so far, but what we're going to do is we're going to mix things up a bit. For 30 seconds in this round, we're going to go. We're going to have everyone fighting only with A, pistols, B, gadgets, or C, knives. And we want Xbox viewers at home to choose which one. Look out for the question on screen very soon. Back to you guys and the action. All right, well, thank you so much, Andy. And now let's go ahead and dive in, as I want to highlight one of the players that I'm so interested in watching, Iconic Wally. Yeah. Not only is he USA's, actually, one of their best 
tank players, but on top of that, he's one heck of an infantry player as well. His accuracy is next level. He's been so, so good all throughout this weekend. And that's just a small, small little glimpse of something you may have just caught. The way that when running through the water, he lifts his weapon up. Those small touches really do make for just such a nice visual battlefield experience. And right now, you can see the way the Americans are trying to go the assault on this flag. And this is a fantastic push from Wally. And you see him just getting more and more kills. He really is on a rampage right now. Yeah, unfortunately, though, he is going to be taking some shots. He's going to be oh. and he finally gets taken out. That was actually going to be a pretty big stop for them because, you know, the EU team, they, they definitely needed to be able to yeah. stop Wally. He, again, if he gets on a roll, it is absolutely disgusting. And now on board with Sun Gravy here as Gravy is going to take a couple shots, has to get down to the ground and get some cover. But you can see the flurry of EU players pushing forward. Grenades, hopefully that does something. But the best that Sun Gravy could do here is get away. Let's see what's going on, though, on the other side by the tower yep. because that is actually going to be the D flag. And there's, of course, carnage and mayhem everywhere. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, the Americans have control of that D flag and they're being able to just do this so, so well. The, the way that they're controlling this flag, just the way they're dictating those spawns as well, obviously spawning on those squad members, so, so important. And the Europeans, we saw a jet circling around the vicinity. They're just not able to get inside and, and try and cause any bit of a ruckus. And again, you know, America doing it well. And look at the lead they're starting to build now as well. Well, yeah, and that's the scary part here, right? They were down at one point, but one thing that I simply noticed there in that, uh, in, in the whole scheme of things is how the US players are just taking advantage of vehicle play. I mean, they are just absolutely killing it here they need addison in this jet to step it up but when you're dealing with compact killer and hulk in the sky it's going to be very tough you can see right there they end up losing their jet that's going to be unfortunate and you know again there's just so much going on here it, it really is just words cannot describe how intense this is. But also, another I believe out, we, that was a commander drop too. I, I also believe you can hear the siren. That's gonna be that's gonna be Levolution, I, be, I believe, on that pillar. If I'm not correct, I'm pretty sure I saw the flashing lights and also the siren. But you know what? Let's have a look at someone more in the action. This is gonna be Fedron. He is, without a doubt, one of Europe's best players. He, he is gonna need to be the fundamental factor. I, I'm sorry, curse of the caster. That, you, you jinxed that. That happens a lot. But I actually wanna <laughs> I wanna make sure we don't miss this Levolution moment, which is something that is is just so awesome in Battlefield 4, especially on the, the macro level. Yeah, of course. I, I definitely agree with you there. And we are going to see the uh, the tower actually coming down. Of course, lots of crazy action going on. They want to see if they can try and stop it because what that's going to do, again, Levolution, what it does, it basically just opens up another part of the map and gives you that ability to move a little bit more freely, right? And yeah. Caspian Border has that giant wall there, and uh -huh. that wall gets absolutely destroyed. <laughs> if the U.S. team can manage to break it, then they're going to get another pathway right in. You can see right now just all the players parachuting down and just causing a little bit of mayhem over on that pillar. The jet's flying down as well. And you can see that it's the Americans once again in the jet that are just dominating. Yeah, that's right. And I know that there is a lot of action going on here. I mean, D right now is in the process of being capped here by the, DT, uh, by the uh, European squad. And I'm trying to take a look and see exactly what is going on. But there is just so much. You can see the armor now moving in here for the U.S. team. The kill feed just so much in the favor of the U.S. team. Finally, EU starting to act up and get some get some things going here. But, man, it's clearly... There we go! There we go! There you it can is. see it. Oh, Look at how beautiful gracious. that looks. Revolution at its finest in Battlefield 4. The explosions, the mayhem, absolutely everything. And this thing is now, that's just going to... That's right, you can see it just it, absolutely it falling down, and now it is going to open up a new pathway here for the U.S. Oh. to make their way through. Anyone caught there, I feel bad for them, because that I would do. just, that, you know, that, that, that would suck. But, uh, of and course, here we have the score, yeah. 561 to 439. Midpoint of the game here, about the 10-minute mark. The action is getting crazy, Ben. I believe we actually have Andy on the floor. He's going to talk to us a little bit about that 30-second frenzy. There we go. Actually, guys, we've got results. The results are in. And may I just say, that looked amazing. It looks impressive. Oh, and you guys at home decided that for the next 30 seconds, you chose my favorite. You're going to be fighting with knives. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Alex goodness. and Benson, what do you guys think about that one? I have this, no words. This is going to be crazy, Jessica. I'm, oh, my God, no. The, it's 64 people <laughs> with knives in one battlefield. is going to be insane. Benson, you're speechless. You look so cute and giggly. <laughs> I love look it. Look at that dimple. Look at those cheeks. All right, let's get on with it, guys. It's knives only in five, four, three, three two, two, and one. one. This is going Not to so be... Knives only. Knives only.
only I'm on board with Shibby, who, if you're a fan of YouTube, you know he's hiding. He's like, <laughs> I'm, I'm not having none of this right now. Let's go ahead and see what's up with One Night Stand. He actually has his knives. He is uh, going to find someone to go into. Oh, no! Oh, no! No! Oh, no! You, you failed me. The Russian Badger is 20 and 8 right now. He can't shoot anyone with the AC-130. If we flip on over to the other side, you can see that there's just the so battle. much carnage. <laughs> <laughs> it is oh, insane. Oh, my God. Oh. Just manic. Action everywhere. That is completely it's done. I, I think I think oh, we yeah. were the I think we were the 30 second frenzy on it. We yeah, just got it. It's just loud noises everywhere. <laughs> but more importantly, looking at the game right now, we have eight minutes fifty left of this first map. It's worth mentioning as well. This isn't a, a best of three kind of format. It's only gonna be the third map which really counts. Right now they're playing to try and keep that high value asset. Earn points which are gonna keep that dice high value asset on their team. But for now, it is Team USA who have such a huge lead, Golden Boy. Yeah, it's actually pretty surprising to see here as they are getting very very close to being able to uh, to make it halfway right so of course, we do have to expect the fact that the Team USA, they have just been taking advantage of utilizing their vehicles, their air units yep. have been amazing, and their shots have also been on top too. Honestly, now that the battle is beginning for D here, I'm really, really worried about that B flag because, again, you can see right there that tunnel is now open, that wall opens up, and that just gives Team USA another opportunity to be able to make their way in there. It's worth mentioning as well, guys, we are actually the top trend on the UK side on Twitter, obviously, right. for Showdown. But let's try and get that trending worldwide, I think. I think that'd be pretty cool if we can try and get it trending worldwide. I think that would be pretty cool, I mean, because Battlefield's pretty awesome, you know? It, it, so. just, well, just a little bit, as you I would, I would tell. assume it's awesome, of Explosions, course. Explosions, loud noises, jets, tanks. What more can you really wish for? I, you know, I love explosions. And okay, so here's a cool <laughs> thing here, right? You, so you have Pyrobios, right? Yeah. He's the last man in his squad. He has to stay alive. Okay. Because this is going to give his teammates the opportunity to spawn on him. And when a teammate spawns on you, you oh, oh. he's going to lose a big position for them there. As we go ahead, up on board with Faza here, putting shots out, able to pick up a double, finding another one right in front of him, going in for the stab. Oh, the stab ended up it. getting taken out. That is going to be unfortunate. That was triple wreck there with the stop. If you guys don't know triple wreck, you are doing it wrong. And uh, wow, I mean, the EU team, they seem to be running out of gas. That's your team USA doing a good all, job. All I'm going to say is look at the right hand side of your screen. The golf squad for Team USA. 72 kills. I, I, I left it 37 open. 37 deaths. Okay, the golf squad of Team USA. Like, like what, what are they get? Like, look at Epsilon China. 28 and 10. These guys are running away with this game. And you can see exactly that. A fantastic kill from China. He's just going in right now. Kind of quick up the double. Might the line behind it. Good. The kill doesn't happen. Does get shut down. But still, this squad. Squad, they are dominating. But look at what match. they're doing, right? They're not getting aggressive to the point where they're relinquishing position, right? They're getting behind their opponents. They're catching them off yeah. guard. And that is something that you can clearly tell is really frustrating the EU team here. Of course, Team USA, uh, we're on board with Spartan 117 GW. He is just tearing it up. 23 and 6 for him. Definitely showing his prowess as a slayer. And right now on my screen, you can just see the sheer amount of missiles that are being dropped on this sea fight. And that's just showing you that the Americans, they're continuing this aggression. I mean, Europe have three flags at this point. They have A, they have B, and they also have C flag. But the Americans, they are just continuing this aggression on that flag. They do not want to allow America back in this. And uh, of course, hopping over here, you can see Grizzle BF. Just need I say more, AC-130 just tearing it tearing up here. It. And it's just not giving anyone any kind of opportunity to make anything happen. You can see the blue arrows there right down on the field. Of course, we see that. Yeah. And, you know, they, they don't see him because we're, we're in spectator mode, right? Yeah, but they, he just knows that there are targets out there because his commander, Major... Uh oh Grizzle's uh -oh. down. Grizzle's down. Okay, we'll go ahead and give some love to Addison here on the EU side. Of course, the time is ticking down 411 to 193. Now, also another thing to note, guys, when you do cap more than three flags, right? you begin something called the bleed, which is something that you see, right, time and time again. And it seems like Addison's in a little bit of a pickle here. And uh, let's actually jump on board to... Oh, did you see the jet? What? The jet just flew straight past him again. Oh, He's goodness. managed to dodge it. Flags being deployed absolutely everywhere. He's going to have to get out of there. As Finally, you can... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, That's goodness. not ended well for him, has it really? Yeah. Has not by any means. All right. So, let's take a look here at the tabletop over with EGL Glenn, who knows that that opening, of course, is going to give him an opportunity to bring that tank in there. Yep. And this is what they need. They need that air support. They need something to be able to get them going 175 to 365. And you hear that lock on. That almost happened. But, of course, Glenn, I know he was worried there for a little bit. <laughs> it, it, this has been quite the game. USA has just been controlling the ground here. But now we're starting to see a little bit of a fight.
from the EU guys. And you can see there's going to be Gun and LC in this tank. They've been practicing so, so much in the past couple of days together, trying to cause a little bit of mayhem. Going to have to dodge that missile, do so. But Europe, they are starting to mount a little bit of comeback if they can try and defend that A flag, which was currently under congestion. I think they did manage to just do so, but now the tank's going to have to run away. Shell being bombarded from the sky. I think they just managed to do it. But once again, just emphasizing that American dominance. I know. I mean, in really, it, it, and let's go ahead and jump over to tabletop here and see exactly why this is the case, right? I mean, you have a lot of armor here on both sides. Oh, yeah. You have eyes down there, too, that are just really causing a lot of problems. The screen is just clearly blurred out. And Viper, Ice Viper 777, controlling it with that tank as well. But this is some big, big plays coming from the Europeans. You can see where they spawned. They were on that B-Flag, and I'm pretty sure they are going to get it as well. There's no Americans inside, but in comes a helicopter. You can see that on the far right-hand side of your screen. But America have three flags. Three minutes, 41 gold, and boy, this is not looking good if you're in a European right now. Yeah, that's right, and over with Hulk here from Epsilon. The ace pilot for Team USA has been just absolutely amazing, oh, he's amazing so us good. here at the uh, Battlefield 4 Showdown. He has been that guy, that go-to guy in the air for them, and I don't know how he does it, because he'll take a shot, he'll get hit, and just manage to stay alive. Of course, the pressure is certainly going to be on him, as he is currently being chased right now, and is doing everything that he can to get away from it. I may have spoken too soon, man. <laughs> you said he's trying to get away, but oh, he has been hit. He is going to have to try and get out of that. And here's the other ace pilot. I have two aces, do, by the way. They, they have two aces. aces. Compact and Hulk. Oh and you can see right there, just absolutely tearing it up, destroying the pilot. If we jump on over, you can oh, see the overhead view. Compact was able to get the kill, and now he's just going to navigate his way around the map and have his way with the infantry. Well, he has someone else in his sight. He's going to try and get the hit. Manages to connect with a few vehicle hits. Is he going to be able to shoot out the sky? That's going to be the big question. This is exactly why he's one of the best jet pilots. Just dips out. Going to have to try and go for the loop again. And I'm not too sure if he's going to be able to get back in. He's right oh. He did so well to get back in the area. And you can see this is exactly why Europe are so dumb. Oh, vehicle hit. Goodness. Vehicle mobility dodges it again. Whoa, this man. is just a dogfight at its greatest. Oh, yeah, for sure. And Compact Killer is just holding it down here for Team USA in the air. And that is the key. Stop the air. Stop the air. Golden Boy. might crash into the ground. Oh. He knew it. So he had to oh. abort from that. Now they need to uh, actually be able to. They, they're they're going to have a, not a lot of air support here. That, yeah. That's going to be a little troublesome. But back up over Compact, who is a former pro player as well, by the way. So this guy's a beast. I expect him to be equally as good on the ground. Look, there's someone there. Nice. Oh, oh never mind. Okay. he went for the kill. That may actually cost him his life. Does so. Unfortunate place from him. Europe are desperately trying to mount a little bit of a comeback. You can see the flags that are being tr trying to cap, but 270 to 49, Golden Boy. Yeah. This is American dominance. I mean, we said we expect the Americans to be better in the air. They were, but we expected the Europeans to be better on the on, on the ground. And yeah. that just hasn't been the case. That, that was a trend that we were noticing a lot yeah. throughout, you know, throughout the days that we've been here in London. And it, again, it's like you can be great in the ground. You can have the greatest gun skill, but Battlefield is a team game. It is the kind of game where, you know, individual slaying, that that helps. That's great. Oh, yeah. But if you guys know how to use a tank, if you know how to use your air properly, you can just absolutely decimate like we're seeing right here. <laughs> just want to point out Golf Squad, Golf Squad, is Epsilon Chain, 45 and 16 right, right now. now? That is, that, talk about going off on main stage. I mean, that, you can't ask for a better performance than that. His squad, over 100 kills at this point. And you're know, looking over that left side, you know, India squad 79 for 59. I mean, that, that's pretty decent. You've got Mythic Andrew who started off on 19 and 14. And, and you know, when it comes down to it, they're just simply being outslayed at this point. You know, I actually had a chance to talk to Chini here and he was like, you know, I, I won't lie. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. I don't, I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to perform. And, uh, and of course, skydiving because there's so much going on in Battlefield, oh, you know, just, as you can clearly yeah, tell. Gonna whip out the but he, he was like, I'm a little nervous about not doing well. And I'm like, bro, you're going to be more than OK. And I think, you know, uh, having a squad go 121 to 60 is definitely more than OK. The clock is ticking down, although, although Team no! does have the bleed. Ooh, that is dirty. Although Team EU does have the bleed, bear in mind, it's only a couple of uh, seconds left here in the game. I think it's safe to say Team USA is going to take this. And you're going to have to give the commander some, some big, big props as well, because let's not forget, they are commanding the Major troops Nelson is on the yelling. battlefield. He's yelling. He is yelling and screaming. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Team USA manages to secure the first game victory. Guys, commanders, please come join me up here in the middle of the stage. Please join me, Major Nelson.